every year, approximately the same time, to welcome participants of Baku Summer Energy School. We proudly say that Baku is first oil capital in the world. Oil exploration started here. We as institution try to present to the world how oil diplomacy of Azerbaijan helped our country to become real independent, reliable uh, country for relationship and uh, to be a very strong member of international community.
minha frente que eu quero passar Pois o samba está animado O que eu quero é sambar Este samba que é misto de maracatu É samba de preto velho Samba de preto tu Mas que nada Um samba como esse tão legal Você não vai querer Que eu chegue no final Está animado O que eu quero é samba Este samba Que é misto de maracatu É samba de preto feio Samba de preto tu Mais que nada Um samba como esse tão legal Você não vai querer Que eu chegue no final
privilege to attend this year's um, Baku Energy Summer School. I've done this twice now, should have done it more than that, but I've done it twice. Uh, and it's always been a very interesting experience for me because the range of students this summer school attracts is very wide. From all parts of the world for two weeks and on all disciplines. I'm an energy lawyer. My privilege here is to talk about how energy is regulated, how oil is regulated, how gas is regulated, a little bit of power because of course more gas is sold for power than ever was before, and then how those regulations drive into the contracts which the individual participants will sign. So we look at energy security of supply, we look at regulation, we look at contracting, we look at the implications for the people, we look at the implications for the state companies, we look at the implications for the governments. The ATA Summer School does, performs a very good practical function, both in terms of introducing a very wide range of effect, advanced students into all the different aspects of energy, but also it manages to give the teachers, the lecturers, exposure to a wide variety of intelligent questioning. And it's always good to have your assumptions tested. I think the best thing, the thing I like most about it, is the multidisciplinary approach. The fact that you can get my subject, the geopolitics covered, but the commercial angle, the legal side of events, the sheer practicality, the engineering of projects, putting these all together and trying to explain and understand this incredibly complicated issue that is the world of energy. And then you try and think, why are you doing this? What is it for? And that means, what is the service that oil and gas and coal and renewables can perform to be put at the service of ordinary people? So that it's not just simply the idea that governments benefit, that whole countries benefit, it's that ordinary people benefit as they see both more plentiful provision of heat, of electricity or of air conditioning, but also how they can see how it benefits them to have good relations with their neighbours whether or not they come from energy producing or energy consuming countries.
and I want to really recommend you the Baku Summer Energy School. It's a great program and you have the opportunity to get to know Asheri people, Asheri culture and traditions, like visits like this one, while you are going to meet like really amazing people when you are here. And the staff is amazing. They are always taking care of us and really being really sweet. So I recommend it to you. Start off with the program is really a great program that brings a lot of people from either the engineering side and also the business economy side uh, and also that brings uh, a lot of professionals. Uh, from that point of view I see the program is really good for uh, uh, students and also professionals just to get a whole experience about what's going on in Azerbaijan and also how the economy is uh, evolving around the energy. To be honest, it's been just meeting everybody and also the campus. Uh, Edo has been really a nice campus and uh, Baku also. Baku, it's just a beautiful city. So I would say the main strengths of the program um, have been the multidisciplinary approach of the conference. Um, just having a different uh, discipline covered every day, different viewpoints. Um, it's uh, you know it, it brings in a lot of different interests because some people are you know more interested in geopolitics, some people are more interested in you know the the finances of energy. Um, but then it allows everybody to have sort of a common baseline to discuss and, um, and then for everyone to learn as well so that we're expanding outside of our specialties. I'm an environmentalist, so I, uh, my environmental policy program, you know, there's a lot of questions about why I'm going to an energy conference that focuses mostly on oil and gas, um, but I've really been uh, impressed at the variety of viewpoints and different sort of nuances of opinions that have been expressed, so I, did, I would recommend it for everyone, even my um, other environmental policy friends. <laughs> Definitely the organizers are always around and, and always available to answer questions and I think that you know uh, people have uh, expressed different desires about going on separate trips and, and uh, you know anything from food and drink everything has been 
uh, really nicely taken care of. Uh, this program uh, concentrates on the on the technical stuff, but as well as the, it has also the fun part of the program. So what I like about this program, uh, we also visiting the historic historic uh, parts of the Azerbaijan and also the the plants and the Sangashal terminal and also the, the waste plant. So this is good stuff that we what we see here and also that we can show off uh, about this kind of new technologies to the our foreign friends. So this program uh, made me the, uh, to interact with friends from other countries and they make me the connection uh, outside of the program as well. So, thank you very much. It is a great opportunity for me to learn a lot about uh, the energy sector here in Azerbaijan and in the world as, as well. We had the opportunity to see uh, or to meet with uh, other uh, professionals from the energy field and from uh, members of academia. And I'm, I would like to really thank the ADA and the organizers for giving me the opportunity to join the program. Thank you. So my specific focus has always been for the past year in mostly energy in Central Asia, Caucasus region. A wonderful opportunity for me to learn more about the experience in the industry, the politics, and just meeting plenty of other, um, you know, as a networking opportunity, plenty of other people who are in the same field. The Baku Summer Energy School, two weeks. It's been a wonderful time so far, both in terms of the professional and educational experience, but also in terms of the more social aspects of meeting so many of our other fellow colleagues and students from across the world. I would never have imagined that coming here I would be able to become very close to a number of friends um, from whether it's Hungary, whether it's from Russia, um, whether they're in the petroleum engineering aspect or business. It's a one-of-a-kind kind of unique opportunity that I'm very glad I've been a part of. Um, in the, 
And on more of the professional aspects, we've had a number of very wonderful speakers who have come to speak to us. I think uh, the Baku Summer Energy School is on a very good track, and I'm very excited to see um, who else might be able to enter this uh, program and where it can take me and others as well. So, thank you. Here, it's been an amazing opportunity of learning from one of the best scholars that we have in energy and oil sector. For hearing to my partners here, to hear the questions, to hear how the people that is here are handling the answers, it's been a very good opportunity to learning from the practice and academy. It's also been a very good opportunity of knowing Baku, one of the most beautiful cities that I have ever known, and that it's not very easy to get into it. Here we have seen very important aspects of energy security and how we need to develop some business models that are still taking into account oil and gas production, start taking into other kind of re renewable energies. So I think that this wasn't only an oil and gas program, it wasn't only a program that is trying to get all of us into renewables, it's a program that is really balancing the needs of the world the demand that this increasing population is going to need and how we need to handle these projects in the future. Of course it's very exciting to come to the ADA summer school, but I, I must tell on a personal note, I feel a bit like a, what, what I feel as a mother when I came to my uh, children's high school or something, when you see your, your baby all, all grown up and, and, and quite adultish because I was lucky to be part of the founding committee that uh, started the ADA summer school. The idea was instead of just Azerbaijan importing knowledge, importing expertise, that Azerbaijan has something that it can export uh, academically, scientifically, and that's knowledge about uh, production and, and uh, consumption of, of energy and energy security uh, policies. Um, so I'm happy that I've been a part of the, um, of this, the faculty of this summer school from its inception uh, 11 years ago and, in, and it is indeed nice to see it standing on its feet, feet like, adult, like, like your young adults when you feel as a, as a parent. Um, the unique part of the Azerbaijan summer schools, you know, Azerbaijan being a country that has diplomatic relations almost to every direction, towards the west, towards the east, east to, towards its south, towards Iran, towards its north, towards Russia. Um, it's a great meeting place where an American, an Iranian, uh, a Russian, and a Georgian, um, uh, a Turk, and an Israeli can, you know, sit, sit around and, and, and study together. And, and I find uh, even myself, I've have uh, still have wonderful connections with students that have been uh, through this program over the years and for me they're a wealth of knowledge and in, in terms of wealth of knowledge 
the students themselves, because many of them are also mid-career professionals in the energy industry, um, in energy policy in different governments, they also teach each other a lot uh, about energy, not just from the faculty. And also I think they go on to become an important group of uh, professional connections. And really you see it almost any time I come to an, a conference, somewhere around the world, energy conference or important government fora, you see ADA summer school graduates coming up. They've already been sit sitting together, going out together, meeting each other, and they become an important group for solving and preventing problems in the energy world. So uh, it's been, again, a great summer here in Baku. I can say that I got a very big and amazing experience. All speakers were amazing and I learned a lot of new information. And moreover, what I'd like to tell you is that the whole atmosphere, the company, the, how everything was organized, it was amazing. And um, right now I can uh, tell you that I will miss all this time that we were spending together all these unforgettable trips, all these lectures, all these evening funs. So guys, welcome to Russia. I hope one day we will meet there. I'll miss all of you, so see you soon.